if you don't know from where to start to study memory forensic or volatile memory forensic or random access memory RAM forensic this is the book that you should have in your library this book will cover the practical base of memory forensic and this book name is the practical memory forensic I will keep the full details about this book within the description okay uh, the description section okay let's get deeper in this book review okay the first couple of chapters is introduction to memory forensic why a memory forensic volatile data and so on remember the volatile data that means the data that will be lost once you switch off the computer that's why we call it volatile data acquisition process like any other process in digital forensic and chapter 3 is all about Windows memory acquisition in this chapter you will study how you can inquire memory data from running Windows machine from running Windows machine and the famous there's many many tools that, uh, that you can use but however the famous tool is the FTK imager the famous tool is the FTK imager. however there is plenty of tools that you can use to get memory dump memory dump and most of these tools are free and if, if you are interested in these tools you can go and watch my videos in my channel where we managed to extract memory dumps or memory data from Windows machine and then we managed to find network traffic information passwords Windows password uh, encrypted password uh, user activities and many many more okay chapter 4 is interesting chapter as well reconstructor user activity Windows uh, memory forensic okay this is very very interesting chapter okay however what what you will notice that within this chapter as i said it's practical based book that means there is plenty of labs there's plenty of practical exercise you can go through them but however what you can notice within this book they use volatility framework to analyze okay volatility framework and what you can see here it's volatility 2.6 and the only downside of this book, I do believe that they use the old version of Volatility 2.6 and now there is Volatility 3 which is easier to use and the plugin are easier and you don't need to specify and you don't need to specify the Windows profile as well. Uh, but however, this book is still valid. This book is still valid. I, I use this book a lot to create teaching material for my uh, students and okay, and so on. There is many many other chapter you can see here reconstructing windows um, user activities this is a big shop okay this is a big chapter malware detection also there's a chapter about malware detection if you are interested in malware analysis this is your okay this is your book malware analysis because remember malware analysis divided to two categories uh, static malware forensic and dynamic malware forensic and i expect if you are using memory forensic that means you are going to do a dynamic malware analysis this is another very very good chapter okay very very good chapter and as we said the fox is using volatility 2.6 if you are if you need to use volatility 3 you can go to my channel and you will find some examples how you can download volatility 3 how you can use it to extract information and so on also there is another another chapters is about alternative sources of volatile memory and there is a chapter linux forensic analysis and there is another chapter malicious activity detection and i think there is another chapter about mac os okay mac os i do recommend to buy this book to be honest i enjoy reading this book because it's a practical based book not just text it and you will get a lot from it okay you will get a lot and it's cheap i think it's uh, in uk here it's 20 something k okay, 20 pound if you enjoyed my video and please consider to subscribe share my videos to support growing my little channel thank you very much thank you